everybody it's april dawn let's talk about it this is queen sugar season three episode six okay this is not exactly a recap but we are gonna go through some of the things that happened so let's go ahead and get started so we start off with nova waking up in the morning she's getting some texts from remy which i don't approve of i don't agree with no god absolutely not but vi calls her so vi tells her she needs her to come down because she has to fill an order and um everybody's sick nobody's available to help she's the only one who can follow the recipes now nova does to her, you know I'm a writer, right? I'm not like a cook. Vi don't give a damn, okay? She wants her to come on down and help her out. So Vi obliges and goes down there. At the same time, we see Micah getting ready to go to school in the morning. Um, Charlie does say, you know, we need to talk about your father. And he don't really want to talk about it. He turns around and he asks her if she okay. And she says, you know, she's okay. And that's pretty much it, y'all. So he's really not dealing with what's going on with this whole situation, okay? So this is not going to be good. This same morning, Darla is dropping off blue to go to school and the teacher comes by and tells her that um he had another incident he pushed a kid the other day or whatever so she says she's gonna talk to him and she tells the teacher to call her anytime there's something that's going on with uh blue. all right so nova's with vi and they're making pies and nova is just like taking in what on vi is saying she's basically saying that she didn't know that she was going to become a baker she didn't know that this was going to be her dream she kind of fell into it you know she was raised to be a mother and a wife and i guess after her marriage didn't work out she was always just trying to survive because ernest knew that he had the land from a you know since when he was young so he always knew what he was going to do and she said she was just trying to survive so she knew she made pies she knew they was good and you know now this has just taken off and you know she said she loves Hollywood with everything well later on she says she loves Hollywood with you know everything in her soul but she wants to take the good things that are coming to her and so uh, her hand starts hurting after a while and Nova asked her well what's going on you know uh, with the lupus and how do you manage having lupus and running a business and she you know she tells her listen you need to turn off that tape recorder because i don't want people to know that i have lupus you know i'm a black woman i you know i want people to know i have a weakness and i get that because black women are like super women child we do everything okay so um with no help sometimes so i get it but at the same time i understand nova's point she could inspire a lot of people with her story and it's also you know beneficial to show black women being vulnerable black women you know persevering through their issues because we all know we can do it we can do anything we go through stuff too you know we're the strong friends okay black women are the strong friends of the world okay <laughs> so we go through stuff too and it's okay to admit that you have some issues and that you're going through things now throughout this whole day uh nova begins text from remy and she looks perplexed she look upset so by the time they get to the end of the day even violet is like okay what's up i mean this person calling you all day long what's going on and she's like you know it's complicated and she says i want you to be open to receive love you know what i'm saying um you just got to give yourself permission. And then she talks about the farm and how to her and the farm. The farm made her and Ernest closer. And that's what she's hoping for her brothers and sisters, for Nova's brother and sisters, that they will all be close. So now we can see this is a conflict because they ain't going to be close when you screwing her ex-boyfriend. It's going to be an issue, honey. Hmm. So this week, Charlie gets a call from Jacob and she ignores the call. Charlie having a bad day. It's the worst day ever, pretty much, okay? So it seems like she hasn't really it's been a few days since she was out with him or maybe that was the day before but she still hasn't talked to anyone in her family about what's going on so she's bombarded with articles about davis it's all on the tmz news it's all in the blogs and the tabloids and everything um about what's going on with davis and how he have an outside kid it's embarrassing to her but you know they're divorced so it's not gonna blow back on her as much it's just like a, oh my god he got a baby you know he got an outside baby story later on that day she's just driving through um the town she she sees a surveyor it's the same surveyor that she saw in the bar last week and she goes out there to ask him what they're doing she asked him if they're from the epa the man said no we don't know anything about the environmental problems he was very nice and polite and she was just like okay well why are you out here and he told her that he couldn't tell her which is his job and she asked him for a business card and he seemed a little reluctant at first but he gave her the business card so now we know something is up these bujos and landers is lying baby they lying about something major and um it's going to be revealed in the next episodes so she takes this information on over to her private detective now her private detective is starting to see that charlie is looking like she on a mission she got a vendetta you know what i'm saying she tells her you know you looking like i was looking girl and i lost everything 
So, you know, you got to, I understand you want to find the truth and you want to do right, but don't let it destroy you. And she's like, I'm just tired of people lying. I just want people to be honest with me. This is also foreshadowing y'all, Nova and Remy, because Nova and Remy going to get together. They going to screw each other. I can guarantee you that. And when um, she's saying, I want people to stop lying to me, I want people to stop. So Nova is going to have to lie to her. And when she finds out, this is going to put a major rift in between their relationship. So... They are already foreshadowing that for us. Like, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I definitely can see that they are foreshadowing that relationship, her and her sister relationship. I mean, they kept showing the picture of them, whole, you know, hugging each other. Like, they are giving it to us. This relationship about to be jacked up. She tells her, you know, I just want people to find the truth. And, you know, the lady's like, listen, we on top of it. You know, we're going to get it together. Don't worry about it. You know, it's all going to work out. So by the time she gets to the end of the day, she ain't into it. She ain't feeling it. She not in a good mood and Nova is there. Nova finds out that she has, um, you know, all the stuff that's going on. I'm thinking that Nova is just finding out what's happening. So she goes to her sister, you know, to comfort her sister. Little did she know when she, you know, she was calling your ass over and over again the other day. You was out there with her ex-boyfriend. So I know Nova felt guilty. And I don't think that Charlie was mad at Nova. I think she was just pissed off the whole day. Was just It's just been a rough few days for her. And you know what? You wasn't there when I needed you when I was calling you. Now you gonna show up at my door, bitch? Bye. Charlie was rude to her. She was a little unnecessarily rude, but she was still rude. And I felt like, you know, she was in her feelings. So Nova obviously takes this very personal, right? Because of what she's done. And she goes home, she leaves. She don't even invite Nova inside the house, honey. And when Nova gets home that night, she texts Remy that we can't do this. But they gonna do it. They going to. Here go Remy in the preview coming on strong. Yeah, like, why don't you go sit down somewhere? Oh, he get on my nerves now. I don't like him no more. How did I go from loving him and Charlie together to wanting him to disappear? He get on my nerves. You are doing the most. Like, you can't find nobody in that little podunk Louisiana town. I cannot. Ooh, I can't. I can't stand him, y'all. So let me know what you think about that whole situation in the comments, honey, because that's a hot ass mess. He goes to school, and as you know, kids do, they're making fun of him. they talking about his dad. Talking. About, I, I just, I'm like, damn, y'all some mean ass people. Like, I don't remember. I mean, people made fun of each other. But ain't nobody gonna clown you about your daddy having outside kids. Like, that's not something that we gonna clown about in school. But I guess this school is different, child, because they're making fun of him. And he's feeling, you know, bad about it. Kiki comes and comforts him and tells him to meet her after school, you know, so they could talk or whatever about everything. And, you know, he says yes, but you can see he just ain't feeling it. So later on that day, he runs into his friends from the, you know, the revolutionary group, okay? So he runs into that friend. Friend is like, you know, listen, we're going to go hang out at this place after school. We're just going to dance, talk, you know, have fun, hip tap, you take your mind off of stuff. The, the little nice boy, the one who, the hill with his brother is in jail. And so Micah says, okay. So they go out there at the end of the day, and he, so, he straight ditched Kiki. I'm like, Micah, why you acting funny with Kiki? Like, as soon as you get to the public school, your ass start acting brand new. And funny, I didn't really, I don't really care for that side of Micah. He's changing. Um, but she calls him and he just ignored her phone call and he texted her something about I'm sorry, XYZ. So I didn't really see the text. But he go out, continue hanging out with his friends. They're having a good time laughing and dancing. And some guys roll up on him in a truck with the Confederate flag. You know, and they say something about you people always trying to be where you don't belong and, you know, white lives matter and all this stupid ass bull. Okay, so the, you know, the girl like, they ain't gonna do nothing in here. They call her a black bee. So this is when we run into problems when you start calling me a black If you call me a black bee, I'm gonna fight you. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Ain't, ain't that's not, that's fighting words because now I'm throwing something at your car. So Michael, he already upset about everything else that's going on in his life. So he walked over there and um, got bucked and snatched that Confederate flag off the truck and they drove away because they wasn't going to do nothing. But then the owner of the property comes and tells them that they need to leave. They don't, they don't need to come back. He gonna, or he gonna call the police. They get their stuff and leave. And the one little guy, you know, is like, wow, it's really cool. I mean, so, you know, he got a little cred now because he done snatched the flag, child. Somebody gonna snatch Micah ass up and he gonna end up in jail again. Okay, because you, you be talking, it's all good to the white man come and put a, um, a gun down your throat. I'm just saying. 
Do better, Micah. You 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 wildin', son. You wild. He gets invited to dinner down to the good white people house. You know, the man who owns the grocery store that has her pies inside of the grocery store. They're very, very nice to her. He seems to really, really enjoy her pies. And he tells her that he wants to invest in her business. He wants her pies to be in every store all across America. And, you know, he really wants her to be successful. They couldn't make their dreams come true, but they want to help her make her dreams come true. Now, you know, my, you know, the good part of me wants to believe that these are good white people and, you know, they're going to help Violet do what she needs to do. So, you know, I, I'm all for it. But then the other side of me is like, girl, make sure them contracts is right. Make sure you get you a lawyer because people be talking about they want to invest and then they want to buy your whole business and boot you out. That's all that's going to be is your picture on the damn box, okay? So make sure it's on the up and up, sis. But when Violet said... Yes, I was like, come through, Violet. Now it's time for you to sit high and look down low on these hoes. And let them make the pies while you just sit back, take your medication, and go on vacation. Do it, girl. Do it. I was like, Violet, you better take that leap of faith. Now, Hollywood gonna be pissed off when he get back because you making decisions without your husband. Even though it's your business, you still making decisions without your, you know, soon-to-be husband. And this is going to start to cause problems in a relationship. Um, one thing I don't like about Vi's character is that she's so resistant to change. It, like, take you to fuss at her or for something to happen for her to actually change. Like, when Nova was talking to her, that shit was getting on my nerves. When she was, I don't want people to know I have weakness. I'm like, girl, why do we always have to go through all this with you all the damn time, girl? You are doing the absolute most. So hopefully this will work out for her. She might lose her man, but she gonna get win, gain some money. So you know, who knows? I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all think that relationship gonna be affected by her making this big decision without even talking to him about it? Do you think that he has any? You know, she don't have to talk to him about it. This is her business. Um, I think it's a combination of both. Okay. So we'll see what happens with that whole story. Let's get to the coup de gras. This low down whole darla. I understand that Darla made mistakes and she's trying to rectify her mistakes. I get that. But I do recognize that Darla is somewhat a manipulative ass bitch. Because she know coming up in there, having a nicer place, you know that he's a child. Blue is a child. We have to remember that. So he gonna like beautiful things. If you bring him to your place and your place is real nice and your regular house is not nice, fine. If I'm just stuck with you and I miss my mama, of course he gonna wanna go with his mama at the end of the day. That's why Ralph Angel said you got what you want it so let's go back so after that after she drops him off at school she goes to Ra and tells him hey you know why you didn't tell me he was having problems in schools and he was like listen because I handled it I ain't have to tell you because I handled it and she was like well you need to keep me informed and let me know what's going on and she tells him that she wants to take him after school for a little while just to talk to him and see how he doing at first Rav Angel says no but then he goes on and says yes so she gets him after school. She brings him to the house. Obviously, he loves the house so much. And she tries to talk to him about him hitting the boy at school. And eventually, he tells her it's because the boy said, you left because you didn't love me no more. And she tells him, she affirms to him that I love you. I will never leave you. I'm never going to leave you again. You know, I love you so much, X, Y, and Z. And so he seems really, really happy about this. Which is manipulative to me because you leave this child's life over and over again and then you come back. Of course, he's going to latch to you because you his mama. Uh, he miss you. But you don't be thinking about that shit when you hop in your car and drive away, girl. And when you was going, you smoking crack, girl. And having men on top of you, he laying right next to you. So, I'm sorry. I just, I'm not, I don't see it for her. He's over there for a while. She brings him back home later. Now, when she gets back to Ralph Angel's house... Um, the guy, Benny, who been staying with him, he got like four other niggas at the house. I'm like, y'all doing too damn much. You, when you invited to somebody's house, you don't invite other people in people's house. What the hell is wrong? Listen, she got to the house. She was pissed, understandably. She started going off and telling everybody, get the hell out. Right then, Ralph Angel comes home, and he says for y'all to get the hell out, okay? He tell Benny, look, you got to get your shit, and you got to go, because you doing too much. I told you I had a child when you moved in here. So they get up and leave, and her and Ralph Angel go at it, hollering and screaming. And then Blue comes out talking about some, uh, don't yell at my mom. I want to go live with my mom. Okay, because he did. He wore her ass out a little bit about her. Bitch, you been gone all this time, and now you are A1, concerned, number one parent. Okay, but you ain't been concerned. She like, this house is a mess. You got all these people up in here and X, Y, and Z. But, girl, you was laying down, screwing somebody. Your son was right next to you, and you was on dope. Okay, everybody make mistakes. He said, I was just trying to do the right thing. 
So, and she tells him she want equal stake in her child's life. And um, he tells, like I said, Blue tells him he want to go live with his mama. So, and Darla like, I'm taking him tonight. I don't care what you say. I'm taking him. And so, um, I do think that Darla deserves to have more of a stake in her child life. I feel like if Rap Angel let her in a little bit more, just let her have 50%, like, we wouldn't be going through this. I feel like Darla's getting to that place where I've said I was sorry. I've said I'm sorry. I've changed my life. I did this. Y'all don't want to rock with me. So, bitch, I'm going to take my baby. And, 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 and that's it. Okay? So, that's what's about to happen. She going to take that day baby i can guarantee y'all they're gonna be in court behind that baby hopefully they can um reconcile and figure it out or whatever because i think it's completely wrong to take that child away from people who have raised him since he was born okay it's people who rescued him from your ass okay i don't know how that's gonna turn out but i can't stand all the ass she got to go okay at this point Listen, Blue was getting on my damn nerves, too. He can go, too. And John Alexander, I feel what you talking about because that little nigga need his ass whooped because he got sported one too many times for me. So when Ralph Angel was cussing him, I ain't feel bad. Go your ass in the room. You see us hollering and screaming at each other. What are you doing? Go your ass in the room. But see, when you be baby talking people, baby talking kids, and, and treating them like delicate flowers like they do, Blue, Blue done got too big for his damn britches. He need his ass whooped. At this point, both of their ass go. I'm going to be honest with you. So they took him, and at the end of the episode, Rap Angel was just looking like, oh, shit. Like, I hope he don't spiral downward or anything like that. So, I don't know, y'all, but we'll see. The last thing we're going to talk about is Rap Angel little date. So he went on his little date with the girl, and they walked a bike road, and, you know, they talked about, basically, they kind of in the same situation. They both left home thinking they was going to do big things or didn't want to, you know, be a part of their home life. And she says her parents have lied to her about the business because after the hospital, the business ain't really picked up. You know, like it was before. So, um, and she said she was using that as an excuse to leave, you know. And so she realized that she needs to come back and, you know, nurture her family and help take care of things at home. So that's why she's back. And they have that in common. She said she knew he went to jail because she saw his paperwork. Okay, so she knew he went to jail. So if she had a problem with it, then she would not be talking to her because, you know, he tells her, you know, if you don't want to date me anymore, I understand. And they seem to have had a good time. They kissed and everything. And it was cute. I'm not even going to lie. I'm here for the little relationship or whatever. I'm here. Have to feel like he need a little bit of happiness in his life, especially with Blue going to be gone. But we know how Ralph Angel is. He, you know, he could turn into a guy who, you know, uh, he could deal with this the right way and really get with this girl and make shit work out and be happy. Or he could deal with this shit the wrong way, okay, and push her to the side and start scoring holes again and, you know, drinking. So we don't know what's going to happen, child, because ain't he still on probation? Is he still supposed to be drinking? I don't even think he's supposed to be drinking and being drunk, y'all, because he on parole. I don't know what's going to happen with that line, with that storyline. Um, Yeah, I hope it works out for Ralph. All in all, another great episode. I want to hear what you think about this Nova, Remy, and Charlie love triangle. I want you to hear, I want to hear what you think about Charlie and this surveyor and the Landry's and the Boudreaux's and what they trying to get over on on her um you know would a meal stay open with all these people that's leaving the meal like what are they trying to do to her? are they doing it to her or it's just some big scheme and plot they got going on or whatever i want to know what's the tip okay so y'all let me know what you thought about this video um what you thought about the show don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to follow me on social media you can follow me at who is april dawn on all the social media snapchat twitter and Instagram. I'm on Instagram the most though. I don't really tweet that much and I don't really snap that much. But you know, if you want to follow me, go ahead and follow me now because I'm a hot girl. Or you can follow me on Facebook at April Dawn TV Plug. That's April Dawn TV Plug. I try to update it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't update it as much, but I'm trying to do better. It's just me. Okay. So Y'all wish me luck. I got a lot of stuff to take care of. I got to move in an apartment. I have another audition on Saturday. I have rehearsals and I have a show coming up. My nephew coming to stay with me for the week. I have a lot of things going on. So, like I said, I'm going to try to stay as updated as I can with the videos. But I cannot guarantee you that it's always going to be, you know, a time, you know, on time or whatever. But y'all got to bear with me. This is a busy ass summer. This is the first day all summer I haven't had. I don't have to do anything. And I still have to leave my house and go run some errands. So, y'all be blessed and have a great week. I'll holler at y'all next week. Peace.